Clearly, how do you recognize your enemy? Who is an enemy? Who is an enemy? Here's some, some ideas. An enemy is anyone who prefers to discuss your flaws rather than your future. That's an enemy. Anyone who prefers to discuss your flaws rather than your future. That's an enemy. That's an enemy. An enemy is anyone who resents your progress or the God-given goals that you are pursuing. That's an enemy. Anyone who resents your progress or the God-given goals that you are pursuing, that's an enemy. When you've got something you need to uh, accomplish, you've got to get over people who are just not supportive of what you're trying to do. An enemy is anyone who pulls you away from your family or impedes your relationship with God. Anyone who pulls you away from your family or who impedes your relationship with God. I've never been to a, a deathbed of a person who's saying, I wish I had spent more time at the office. <laughs> their regrets are always over their personal relationships, over their personal relationships. They regret that they didn't spend more time with their family, with their children, with their spouse. An enemy is anyone who weakens your passion for your future and your God-given dream. Anyone who weakens your passion for your future and your God-given dream, that's an enemy. That's an enemy. That's an enemy. An enemy is anyone who sifts you. You know how you sift flour? To sift means to remove the good. It means to separate a person from their essence, from their essence, from their purpose, from the very thing that brings you joy, that makes you come alive, from the very thing that you would do even if nobody paid you. If somebody tried to separate me from my ministry that I'm born to do, that's an enemy. That's an enemy. It's an enemy. An enemy is anyone who diminishes your influence in your absence. You know how some people are all, they're all saying good things about you in your face? And behind your back, they are saying all kinds of negative things? An enemy is anyone who d diminishes your influence in your absence. You have to be careful of that. An enemy is anyone or anything that distracts you from fulfilling your God-ordained purpose. Anyone or anything that distracts you from fulfilling your God-ordained purpose. The thing about it is that most attractive things to you are those things that are distractions. The devil rarely ever tries to use something unattractive to distract you. It's got to be attractive to you in some way. It's either got to look good, or it's got to sound good, or it's got to make you feel good. Any one of the three, and they can become a distraction in your life from your God-ordained purpose. An enemy is anyone who criticizes you with no intent to help you. Anyone who criticizes you with no intent to help you. Dale Carnegie said that any fool can criticize, and most fools do. Anyone who criticizes you with no intent to help you. And then an enemy is anyone who promises to help you but abandons you when needed. That's an enemy. You know how people say, I'm behind you, I'm behind you. And they're so far behind you that you can't even, <laughs> you can't see them, you can't feel their influence, their support. And here's one of the worst things in the world, is that sometimes your enemies are those of your own household. Good God Almighty. I mean, it's all right when your enemies are down the street when they're at your workplace, but if it's somebody under your roof, and the most dangerous enemy is the one within, in your own household. There's an old African proverb that says, if you conquer the enemy within, the enemy on the outside can do you no harm. I cannot tell you how many people who are wrestling today with the enemies on the inside of them, the enemy of low self-esteem. It is, it's the same old war from back in Genesis of Cain and Abel. I hope you know Cain and Abel are nicknames for can't and ability. Your can't is always trying to rise up and slay your ability. It's an internal war. 
An old African proverb says that be what you is and not what you ain't, because when you is what you ain't, then you ain't what you is. <laughs> but you got to deal with that old enemy on the inside. If you ever learn how to conquer the enemy within, the enemy on the outside can do you no harm. If you learn how to conquer the enemy within, the enemy on the outside can do you no harm. But sometimes your enemies are, are those of your own household. Do you know that Jesus was perfect and he still had enemies? And you know that if Jesus was perfect and still had enemies, 